that okay? Are we good? Maybe take the pillow oh. away, sorry. So, hi everybody! I am with Laura Halford. Okay. Today we are going to be doing a Never Have I Ever video, so I'm super excited with that because I have my very special guest with me. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Hannah Martin. Yes, I'm the one. I'm, I'm, I'm. <laughs> my name is Hannah Martin, and I'm a rhythmic gymnast. Yes, I'm the one that throws the. The hoop catches the club and twirls the ribbon. <laughs> Anything you guys would like to say before we start? Thanks for having us on your channel. Follow us on Instagram, please. Oh yeah, I'll pop the Instagrams over the heads right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Never have I ever been sick at a competition. Yes, I have. Um, like now? Oh no. <laughs> she is ill. I'm not very well. I don't really usually sound like this. I think I have. No, I definitely have. I was sick. Like sick as in like. I wasn't never... sick at the actual competition. No. I was sick the night before period of training and I was up all night vomiting. It was at, in Portugal. And then Flash. so I, I did competed one day and then I couldn't do any more. I was like dying. Okay, second one. Never have I ever argued with my coach. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I do think we really like argue with me, but we do sometimes, but we like wind her, we wind her up and it's like a jokey thing. Never have I ever been jealous of someone else who is playing. Yeah. Every single gymnast. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. Never have I ever cried during a competition. <laughs> I mean, I mean, a lot more competitions than I would like to say. Every competition. <laughs> yeah, same. Same. It's an emotional thing, guys. Never have I ever broke a bone. Yeah. Yes. I haven't. I never broke it. No. I broke my arm. Learning how to swing on the bars when I did autistic gymnastics. Paris had jumped on my arm, so that was fun. Like, I could, wasn't I doing like a side roll, put my arm there, like Paris did like at risk, I landed on my arm and broke it. <laughs> Never have I ever been attacked by a naked pigeon. <laughs> okay, let's just pass it. Let's. <laughs> Never have I ever been too lazy and skipped training. No. no. Well, apart from minks, when I... basically Lynn had sent me a plan to do, and she told me to do like a session like at like home training, and yeah, I didn't you're check. You're exposing yourself. Now. I know, I know, and I didn't check the plan until the day after I was supposed to do the plan because <laughs> I thought I was having a day off that day. But yeah, <laughs> I rescheduled the training, so I still did the training. I just did it on a different day. <laughs> but I was crying my eyes out because I missed the session. So I don't know if that. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Here's one from a person called Laura Halford. Hey, I didn't want to be exposed. <laughs> Never have I ever <laughs> jumped out an airplane and landed on a cow. Obviously Laura has. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to wait for another video to explain that interesting story. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a whole video of its own. <laughs> Never have I ever ate a cherry. <laughs> Well, I quite like cherries. Yeah, I like cherries. Same. Never have I ever not finished your routine at comp, i.e. forgot and ran off the floor. No, never. No. I forgot my routine, but I didn't realise I forgot my routine, and then I got to the end of the music. This was when I was like, okay, six. So I got to the end of the music, and I clearly missed something out, and I hadn't realised, so I just lay in the end position like this for like 30 <laughs> seconds. But I didn't run off the carpet, I just stayed on the floor in the end position, smiling at the judges. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, never have I ever dropped out of area at a competition. No. <laughs> never. I've never done that. Never like, done that in my ever. life. No. Let's just go to some bits of Laura not going out the floor area. <laughs> Oh, 
Ay, 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 ya empezamos mal. Ay, 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 ay. Never have I ever taken someone else's apparatus thinking that it's yours. No. 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 Um, never have I ever do a trick perfectly every time until I get someone to watch it, then I drop it every time. Every time. Yes. <laughs> yes. Every time. It's so annoying. <laughs> never have I ever eaten Vegemite on toast. Oh. <laughs> so good. Never. Uh, I have. I have tried it. I tried Australia. Have you tried it though? No. I tried Marmite though, and that is absolutely oh, no. vegetable. Oh, I love Marmite. <laughs> okay. Uh, never. Oh, this is from one of my coaches. <laughs> so, who? <here> <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is awkward. Snuck out to get food without the coaches knowing. Never. Mm -mm. Wouldn't do anything like that. <laughs> Don't eat. <laughs> You just no. bought snacks with you. No, no, Sneaking no. out, that is totally wrong. I don't know if you can catch on to the sarcastic tone. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Never have I ever not washed my competition leotard. Yeah? I never wash my leotards. <laughs> <laughs> They're so delicate. I just spray them. I don't know. I know, I know. Do you wash yours then? Yeah. Look, Laura puts hers in the filling washing machine. I didn't put them in the washing oh, no, machine. Oh, you dry them in the washing machine. So they I hand washed them in the sink, and then I like make sure they're all like all the soap rinsed down. And then I put them in a pillowcase, and I put them in the washing machine and like spin don't them for it. ten minutes so they dry. But if it's like hot outside, I don't hang them outside to dry. But like in the winter, I just put them in. But don't the colours run? No. Never have I ever dropped an apparatus and had to use a spare apparatus on the edge of the carpet. Never. Don't know why anyone would suggest that. To be honest. Oh. Actually, being serious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've done it twice, but the, was one that of, it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, good, you can't even count how yeah, many times. Right. Once I actually jumped over the spare and got my ball. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> um, but I didn't be, I like, didn't even think to get the spare, and he was like, "Why did you jump over the spare to get your own ball?" And I was like, "There was a spare," and she was like, "Yeah, you jumped over it." <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes in the moment, you just don't think logically. Yeah. Never have I ever lied to my coach about how many risks I have done on the side. I don't think I've done it intentionally. It's more like I come up to the coach and she says, have you done five in a row of each risk? And I've, I think I've roughly done five in a row of each risk, but I'm not 100% sure, so I just go, mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> does Leah have, uh, does Leah have YouTube? <laughs> I really don't like to intentionally Intentionally no, no, no. cheat, like you're just cheating yourself if yeah, you exactly. do. But like sometimes, you know, if you're just getting so frustrated and it's like, oh, just move on. Okay. <laughs> what she said. Oh, never have I ever had an accident hospital worthy at gymnastics or seen one, and if yes, what was it? I saw someone dislocate their elbow. I went to hospital when I broke my arm. Yeah, same with my arm. I only did it once when I was younger. I was on like a trampet and I like missed the trampet somehow. Bruised my foot and it just went like really blue and swelled up, so I went to the hospital. But it was okay. We only had to wait in AE seven hours. <laughs> <laughs> never have I ever never not wanted to go to training. <laughs> I think we can all say there is some points in a gymnast life where you don't really feel like no. going to the gym. When you're like so sore and you're and so tired. tired and it's the end of the week and you've got a five hour session ahead of you, the last thing you want to do is go to training. But what are you going to do? Train. Never have I ever left a makeup stain on the carpet. Yeah. Yep. I always like leaving my mark. Don't really know, I don't really pay attention. I've left blood on the carpet. Never have I ever ripped a leotard, broken someone else's apparatus. No, Laura has. <laughs> Thanks for that. We went to Kazan last year. Gemma's ball. She was putting the pump in, and the pump just wasn't going in. Like it literally, she was pushing it. It wasn't going in. So she was like, "Oh, can you try and push this in?" So I pushed it, and the ball, ball part the day before a competition. But it wasn't intentional. It was... I didn't mean to break a ball. Oh, no. Like, I think she. <laughs> no. And she broke a three 
year old school the other day. Yeah. Again, not just me. It around. was already broken and I just popped it. Broke it even more. Why is the other one ripped a leotard? <laughs> yeah, British. What? Tried to ripped someone else's leotard. Oh, ripped someone else's leotard. Oh, team. no, I have ripped someone else's leotard. What? Never have I ever used a fake name when meeting new people. No. No. Never have I ever forgotten a leotard at a competition. <laughs> yeah, I have. Like, it was when I was young. Like, and we were in the car. I don't know, maybe there. Mm -hmm. And I was like, like, did you put my leotard in the back, Dad? And he was like, what? And I was like, did you put my leotard in the boot? And so we pulled over. My leotards were not in the boot. Okay, I probably should have put them in myself, to be honest. But I was only young, so that's my excuse. <laughs> Did it go right now? Uh, never have I ever fallen asleep at the gym. No. Yes. At an end of a session. Never have I ever been skiing. Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> never have I ever pulled out of a comp due to nerves. No, no. not due to nerves. Never have I ever showed off with my flexibility. <laughs> Never. Never have I ever had a birthday on a competition. Yeah, I think so. I don't think I had a birthday on a competition. I had a birthday when I was going to a competition. I've had birthdays when I've been away from a competition. I had my birthday on a competition in Canada, in Finland. We used to go to America. And never have I ever faked being sick at gym so you can go back to bed. Never. I've gone back to bed if I actually was sick, yes. but not faked it. Okay, so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's half an hour long that I have done it, so this might take a bit of time. Thanks so much. Wow, this is gonna take up so much storage. Thanks so much for watching, guys. You guys want to say anything? Oh, I should do the outro. Okay, yeah. Not your outro. Okay, okay. okay, here we go. Three, two, one. See you later, losers. <laughs> Sorry, what? Make it happen.